Come on, Dean. Answer the phone. <sighs> Son of a bitch. You never answer your damn phone. Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Dude, this is my designated TV time, and this guy's about to bag a moose. What? Well, we've got to get working on this video, or we're not going to have anything to post next Wednesday. Well, I've been trying to think of some things, but I don't know if you're being it. All right. I actually can't wait to hear this. All right, so there's this guy, and he kind of finds his way into a gang and eventually rises up to the ranks, you know, becomes a big dog. Then his addictions, mafia mentality come back to unravel all of his success. Wait, is that the plot to Goodfellas? Oh yeah, well, I guess it kind of is. I have another if you want to hear it. Are we going to be uh, infringing on copyright laws? I don't think so, but hear me out. Alright, there's this little troublemaker boy, right? And his parents are sick of his shit, so they send him to SeaWorld to become friends with Shamu. We're going to get sued for this. Okay, okay. I do have one original idea. Sure. Okay, we get a hold of Emilio Estevez, we get him fucking drunk, wasted, have him drive around, and get to DUI, boom, he has to coach a peewee hockey team. We are definitely going to get sued for this. Dean, are you upstairs right now? Yeah, why? Well, then why are we talking on the phone? I don't know, you called me, man. All right, I'm coming upstairs to figure this shit out. <laughs> Why don't you get an AC unit? Um, why do you have all these knives on the wall? It's for survival. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Wow. I just don't even know what I walked into in here. Like, I wish I had known that you are building a murder dungeon up here. You're such an idiot, dude. Dungeons are underground. Here we go again. What do you even know about dungeons? Why do dungeons have to be underground? Yes, when has there ever been a dungeon above ground? I just don't see why a dungeon has to exclusively be underground. If it's an enclosed space in a remote area, what does it matter if it's above or underground? If anything, this would be a murder attic. Oh my god, this isn't even an attic! What are you talking about?! I really don't appreciate you coming up here and telling me what my room can and cannot be. This isn't about me forcing a classification on your room. This is about you not knowing what an attic is. I really should have been monitoring what was happening. I pay my rent. I signed a lease. Whatever I do in my murder attic is none of your business. Why do you have so much camping and survival gear anyways? You barely even ever leave your air-conditioned dungeon. For when the grid collapses and I have to pick up all the slack around here, because you decide to play video games about survival and not actually taking time and learning about it. Wow, that, that's a lot to unpack. Wait, I think I have an idea. One man, one child, one shopping cart trying to flee the fright of winter. Though times were a struggle, they persisted. Good luck would fall upon them, though bad luck not far behind. After being shot in the leg. Dude! What, is, man? is that the road? Like, the movie The Road? I don't know. I don't think so. Mm -hmm.